me. There's one. There you go. I finally started fishing that real slow, Luke. Yeah. It's just a little guy. We got almost too beautiful a day. You know, we, we ask for these kind of days. It's almost too pretty out here. Sure. And it's just so pretty. It was cold this morning, 35 degrees. We're out here in the springtime. I got Luke McGowan with me, NFL quarterback. McCowan. I keep saying McGowan. I know, Luke, it's McCowan. I know, I know how to spell it and everything. <laughs> yeah. I've been story. called a lot worse. I bet you yeah. have. <laughs> Especially on the football field, right? That, that's right. That's right. I, I, I spent four years in Tampa with John Gruden. Oh, my goodness. And he called me every name in the book. I was a young quarterback then, so he was, he was allowed to call me all kinds of names. He was making sure he's getting your attention, that's right. huh? <laughs> Oh, me. I caught that fish on one of my buddy Ricky Clun's a little square bill crankbaits, a little RC. I think it's an RC2 or RC3 right there. I can't keep them all straight, but that's a really, really great bait. And I tell you, we, uh, that's a good start. Not a giant, but a good start. Listen, you know, we'll get a little wind today because uh, it, it, the wind is just going to blow. I mean, that's just all there is to it. But it is supposed to blow out of the south. It's been blowing out of the north the last several days. Just, I mean, really blowing, really blowing. And uh, we finally have got a little reprieve. It's going to switch around to the south, and we got just a gorgeous day. It's supposed to be about 70 degrees today. It's, uh, it's nice out here right now, and you see this grass down under the water. That's where the fish are. They're in that grass, and, and they're going to be moving up shallower. We might try them on a spinnerbait or a jig. I don't know what we're going to catch them on. Started out with a little crankbait because it is just so slick out here. I mean, it is just like dead calm. But it doesn't stay that way in the springtime. It just doesn't. And we're going to have a little wind. Not supposed to have a lot, but a little, bit, a little bit of wind will help. That'll be our friend. We're kind of just enjoying it right now, but it makes a bite a little, little harder. Ah, oh, yeah, that's a better fish. That's what we're after there, Luke. You get caught that one on the paws, too. The quarterback going to put a spinnerbait fisherman on a spinnerbait here in a minute. I'm throwing a crankbait. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's the size fish we're looking for right there, buddy. That's it. That'd bend your pole a little bit more than that last yeah. one did, didn't it? Oh, yes, good and fat. She is getting ready. Yes, sir. Full of eggs. Here in a little good while. Looking, good looking fish right there, buddy. Hang well, on there. Pretty. I'll take a picture of it real quick. I got my camera right here. Pretty healthy fish. We got the sun's kind of wrong. Let me move over here and I'll get the sun a little bit better for you. The closer you get, the fish will look bigger, too. That's right. Hold him straight up and down. It's good. How well you want it doesn't matter. It's no, your that's fish, fine. not mine. <laughs> so oh, way to go, man. bud. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Pretty. Pretty. All pretty right. Fish. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking pretty about. Pretty fish. Looking good. Another good one? Looking good. <laughs> oh. I need to pick up my spinnerbait, don't spinner I? Bait. I, think you, I think you convinced me. Spinnerbait's the key. <laughs> White spinner bait. In fact, I might just take that one away from you. I don't That's know. Uh, come on. <laughs> come on and try. That's it. <laughs> I hear you, buddy. That's I hear it. you. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. That's it. All right. All right. I couldn't. Here's one. There you go. Oh, look at there. That's a nice one. Speaking of. Oh, that one bit of spinner bait. How about that? <laughs> yeah, I finally caught one on a spinner bait. By golly. <laughs> That's actually a jig with a skirt on it. <laughs> and a blade. Ooh, looky there. That's nice, nice, very nice. That's exactly what we're looking for there. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, look how fat that booger is, will you? I mean, it's got a belly on it, don't it? That's what I'm talking about. That's nice. I mean, nice. Boy. That girl's gonna make a bunch of little babies, isn't she? Very good. All right, Luke, what do I need to throw now? <laughs> I was gonna say it. Oh my goodness. Yep. He bit that legend spinner bait all around. This little spinner bait we got, we're throwing a half ounce bait. And these baits, one of the things when I design these baits, of course I put my red eye in there like I do all baits I design. And uh, but one of the things about a Jimmy Houston Legend bait is it's got a little bit larger blade, one size larger blade than what would normally come on a half ounce bait. Now for years I've been changing and putting larger blades on baits in order to catch big fish. You know, the bigger the blades create a lot more flash. Even with a willow leaf you're going to get more vibration out of it. 
and and you got a larger blade on there and you know big baits big bass that's just all there is to it and this time of the year when it is the time of the year that i do like to throw a, a willow leaf and that big blade will catch you bigger bass there's no just absolutely no doubt about it you still catch plenty of small bass the little ones will still bite it no doubt about it but you will catch some really really sure enough sure enough big fish on that thing out of it there he is a little guy Not bad. Come here, little feller. Come here, little guy. Up here in this boat with me. Nothing. I've seen nothing sticking out of the mouth of any of them, Luke. Every one of them just been nothing but a spinnerbait hanging mm, there. That's right. Those spinnerbaits are not very fattening, guy. You better eat something else. You're going to grow up and be a big girl. Yeah, grow up and be a big girl. You know, these fish on these spinnerbaits seem like that if you get the bait just in sight, you're not getting a bite. If you get the bait just out of sight, that, that's when they're biting them. Just out of sight. Another big one? Uh, he's pulling he's against pulling the... pulling the water pretty good. He's not bad. Well, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Might be a real big one. He's boiling the water pretty good, buddy. If he's as big as... Uh, I think I think the eight-pounder got off and a two-pounder got off. <laughs> something. Too. He was making boils as big as that 250 horsepower Mercury. He's pulling like he's big. Wow, did you see the, the size boil he yeah, was making on top of the water? Yeah, I'll clear it's a that nice water fish. Here. Oh, it's a very nice fish, but golly, I thought it was about six or seven pounds. Oh, good Three fish. Pounds. Good fish. That's a good one. Yeah. If we start complaining about those that size, something's wrong, isn't it? You won't hear me complain, I promise you. <laughs> me neither. You won't hear I me will complain. not complain about that size. Oh, it's a crappie. It's a crappie. You Look got at a that crappie, crappie. On there. Look at that black crappie. That's something when a crappie bite a big old spinnerbait like that. Big old, big old half ounce spinnerbait. Big Luke and I have been catching these fish on a big half ounce Jimmy Houston Legend spinnerbait, Lucky Strike. And that's the first crappie we've got. But this time of the year, you're going to catch some giant crappie like that when you're bass fishing on, on jigs or, or worms or crankbaits, everything, you know, because these big crappie, they really eat a lot of big stuff early in the year. And that, that, that crappie right there is out here in 20 some odd foot of water, but uh, he's in uh, 24 foot of water, but it hit about three foot down is all I had that spinnerbait. Mm -hmm. You're lucky I'm not kissing a the filet there, crappie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> these fish, these fish that we've been catching on the spinnerbait, are really in deep water. I mean, uh, we're, we're going to catch some in some shallow water, I'm sure. But these fish are really in deep water, but they're not down deep. They're not on the bottom. Like that crappie there, that bait was just was still in sight, only maybe two or three foot down, running through the tops of those 24-foot trees, and he jumped up there and grabbed it. Exactly what the bass are doing, too. They're getting up closer to the surface, soaking up that sunshine. Sunshine, sunshine, sunshine. sunshine. Can you say sunshine three times real fast? <laughs> I, so, I can't. I'm more country than you. Obviously, I can't either. <laughs> Soaking up that shun, sunshine just like Luke and I are. That is kind of a tough word to say. I figure we might get one right here off yeah. this point. Another good one? Yeah. They're yeah. all good, just some of them better. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> They're all good, just They're some of them all better. Good. That's right. I know one thing, we done figured out their bait, their bait that they like, the bait That's of choice right. for the bass. Come on back out. It's a bait of choice for me too, I guarantee you. He's fighting. He's wanting to get into the boat, get in he the shade. He's wanting to get in the shade, doesn't he? He fought bigger than some of them five, six pounders you've been catching. He'll grow up to be a big one maybe. Yeah. I think that's a male bass there. He probably want to get over about five pounds. But we'll give him a chance to get there though. Oh, there's one. I that might be bigger than that one you just caught. Yeah, he could probably eat it. He might. I don't know. That might have been what he's doing in there. <laughs> no, he's really about the same size. <laughs> well, he sure felt bigger than that. You got a load of I grass think I killed him. Look at that. I think when I set the hook, I killed him. <laughs> look. Look. What? No. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I knocked him out. That's I right. stunned him. Sure did. I set the hook so hard it stunned him. He must have gotten down the grass a little bit or something. Oh, what happened? He pulled the skirt down on that little legend spinnerbait too. Ooh. I think I'm about to, about to run out of tails on that skirt. 
Get up on that little knob there. I got me a crappie. Big old crappie. Lay my spinnerbait down, let you catch one. Uh, pick my jig up. He made about one throw, one throw. <laughs> That's super, man. Look yeah. at the size of that crappie, man. That's not just an ordinary crappie. That's a dandy. Wow. <sighs> we could eat well with a bunch of them, couldn't we? You could eat and feed a, feed a family in a you. hurry. Even feed your family. Well, I'd have to have it a takes, bunch to feed my family. It'd take several of them, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'd have a bunch of them. It'd take several of them, yeah. One. Well, that bait wasn't very deep when he hit it. I bet I hadn't pulled it a foot under the water, just a little. This little crankbait I'm using now is a deep smoothie, or a shallow smoothie. You know, a deep smoothie is probably one of my favorite baits. This is a little larger size. This is a 3 8 ounce size. Buddy, he's hooked too. Oh, I got that short, short, smaller one on because we got a lot of grass. I'm just trying to get down right over the top of that grass with this bait. That's not a very big fish, but he'll work. This is a shad color bait that I'm using. That's exactly what you want to use out here this time of the year. I've been throwing a crawfish a lot because there's no crawfish out yet. Still, there's still crawfish hadn't come out. And, Fish are feeding on the shad, but they ought to, they ought to bite a crawfish. Kind of like we saw a watermelon stand right now. We'd stop and buy some, even yeah, though that they wasn't growing around here. We'd still buy a watermelon. You get it? Oh. Well, I don't know. It took me 20 minutes throwing this uh, uh, crankbait <laughs> before you got a bite. I was trying to help all I could there. Oh, that's a nice fish. Nice fish. That's the nice one I fish. missed, Fred. Yeah, he, he hit it the time before, didn't he? Yep. The cast before. Well, Good that's fish. Better, that's a little better fish. Good fish. Good fish. <laughs> We've caught some nice looking fish today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, I'm gonna keep on throwing this crankbait just a little bit longer so you can catch another <laughs> one or two. <laughs> yeah, Isn't it amazing? Of course, you know, I caught a few there, but then for a while then we just kind of run out of fish. Yep. So I had to get to get get to get, get us going by picking this crankbait up. <laughs> I appreciate that. I kind of I kind of hate you know I don't believe I, I picked up a little bit different when I put this little shallow smoothie on. Boy, it looks about as much like a shad as anything you put down there. Oh, come little, back and get it. Come back and get it. Little guy. Shoot. Come here, little guy. That's the smallest one we caught all day, I think, right there. You want to put this on in your spinner bait and use it for bait? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, the one that just took a swipe at it off the bank up there could have been, could have eaten it. There he is. Right See there? there? He'll get, he came back and got it's it again. A crappie. A crappie. Oh, That's that same one that missed it a minute Same ago. one. Exactly. Look how big he one. is. Look how big he is. That is a dandy. He hit it three times in the first, in the cast before. There might be several of them down there. That's a nice crappie. That's a big old fat crappie. There's another one. I, I, I brought my crankbait through there. It's going to be another crappie, I bet you. Exact same. I picked up that little shallow smoothie and got another. Oh, that's a bass right there. That's a. This is a. This is a. This is a crappie, and he's got a bass disguise on. That's it. It's kind of like camo. You see, it's kind of like a real tree crappie uh, bass design. This is really actually a crappie. <laughs> He was right in the exact same place where Luke caught that crappie. Got to be a crappie. <laughs> that was exactly, I, I threw right back here where you, because I thought, well, maybe there's several of them in here since you, you had one hit it. And as soon as it got right in that spot, boom. Right at the boat. He hit right out here, in the, right right, out right out the here under the boat, Sorry. didn't he? By golly, you can catch one on a crankbait. I, I know you know I catch one on anything but spinnerbait. That's it. <laughs> Bottom lip. Oh. That's it. Well, the... You notice a lot of times when we're out here fishing that uh, we, we fish several different baits, and that's just a day's fishing, you know. Uh, we've been doing these uh, old shows for a long time, and basically it's just reality of what happens out there on the lake. And today was no different. We started out this morning, we had four or five baits tied on, a jig, a couple, two or three crankbaits, spinnerbait, uh, a little, uh, uh, a little uh, uh, craw on, on a little jig head. And I uh, didn't know really what we was going to catch them on. And actually, 
Uh, we got catching fish really, really good on a spinnerbait, so we switched to a spinnerbait, and we both went spinnerbaits and caught them a lot. Ended up catching a lot of the fish, though, on a crankbait, this little American Original Deep Smoothie, or Shallow Smoothie. Bait only runs about four foot, but the amazing thing, and, uh, and, and this happens a lot early in the spring, is that we caught the bigger fish out in deeper water, 18 to 24 to 30 foot water, with a bait that only runs about four foot deep. Now, when you get into this kind of fish in this time of the year and you're catching small fish up shallow, Rest assured, the girls are there. The big bass are there also. They're out a little bit deeper, and depending on the type of lake you're fishing, they may only be out in a foot or two foot deeper water, but they're out in front of where you're catching the males. Usually a lot of times that's right where you've got your boat parked and you're going down casting toward the bank or casting toward shallow water structure. So all you need to do is move out a little bit deeper. But uh, the, when, when you have these days, uh, these springtime days, it's gonna get real nice and beautiful and warm like today did, yet the nights are cold, like it got to 35 degrees last night. Depending on where you live, 30, 35, 40 degrees, the nights are cold. The bass are not gonna, the big bass are not gonna, those females are not gonna move shallow, but they will move up in the water column. So if you're fishing a jig or a bait down deep for these fish, you're gonna just simply be fishing under them. Get you a bait that you can fish, and a spinner bait's a good deal because you can fish at any depth where you can fish it three foot, four foot, five foot, eight foot deep. But a crank bait is so easy because you get you one that'll run four or five foot, you're right into where those big fish are coming up in the water column, and you'll catch a lot of big fish that the other fishermen are gonna fish completely over, under, around, and miss.